The easiest approach to finding the root of a nonlinear equation is through incremental search. Learn about it here in Numerical Solutions to C Problems. Roots are x-intercepts, so they differ from solutions. From the name itself, one only needs to determine the approximate root by using intervals. These intervals are identified by purely guessing. The first example for this method involves the function y as equal to 4x cubed minus 2x less 5. We are to look for the root nearest the origin, and the preferred root is positive. Other instructions are the accuracy of iteration, which should be until four decimals. Then the initial values should be whole numbers. So before working on increments, we are to look for the initial values first. This would identify the interval that we are going to start with. Since we are looking for a root nearest the origin, we should focus on values of x near 0. Also, the value should be positive. So we can start by plugging in 0 for x. Place this into the function, which turns out as 4 times 0 cubed minus twice of 0 minus 5. And this is equal to negative 5. Let's try another value and we are guided to look for a positive one. So let's pick 1 for x. The function then becomes 4 times 1 cubed minus twice of 1 less 5, which gives negative 3. Remember that our goal is to look for the x-intercept, and that is when y is equal to 0. So having another negative means that we haven't crossed the x-axis yet. Try another x value of 2, making the function 4 times 2 cubed minus 2 times 2 minus 5, which gives positive 23. The jump from negative to positive means that the curve has crossed the x-axis. Let's illustrate it for you to understand better. From the Cartesian plane, the first point is located at x as equal to 1, and y turns as negative 3. Then at x equal to 2, y becomes 23. So connecting these two points together, there is definitely the root in the interval. After identifying the increment, we then analyze how to go about incremental search method. Take note that when x is 1, y is negative 3. And when x is 2, y is positive 23. We can easily identify that the root is nearer 1 than 2. After identifying the interval from 1 to 2, let's take an interval of 0 0.1 and we start the search from x as equal to 1. Plug 1.1 for x, making the function 4 times 1.1 cubed minus twice of 1.1 minus 5, which is simplified as negative 1.876. Take the next increment, which is x at 1.2. So the function becomes 4 times 1.2 cubed minus 2 times 1.2 minus 5, and that gives negative 0. 0.488, still negative but nearer 0. Then try x as 1.3, making the function 4 times 1.3 cubed minus twice of 1.3 minus 5, and this gives positive 1.188. This jump from negative to positive shows that the root is within the increment. Plan the next iteration and from the results, 
the root is nearer x of 1.2. Accuracy is 4 decimal places, so let's continue iterating. This time, assume an interval of 0 0.01, and we are to start with x of 1.2. Add 0 0.01 to have x as 1.21. Plug this into the function and have 4 of 1.21 cubed minus twice of 1.21 minus 5, giving negative 0 0.33756. The next is plugging 1.22, where the function becomes 4 of 1.22 cubed minus 2 times 1.22 minus 5 giving negative 0 0.176608. Then try a step higher, making the function 4 of 1.23 cubed minus 2 times 1.23 minus 5, and that is negative 0 0.016532. Try another to have the function 4 times 1.24 cubed minus twice of 1.24 minus 5, giving positive 0 0.146496. The sign jump already appeared, so we end the iteration and use the value nearer 0, that is, when x is 1.23. For decimals accuracy, let's continue iterating, this time with an interval of 0 0.001. And we start from x of 1.23. Making another increment x is then 1.231 and the function is 4 times 1.231 cubed minus twice of 1.231 minus 5, which gives negative 0 0.00362436. Try another by adding 0 0.001 which makes x as 1.232. So the function becomes 4 times 1.232 cubed minus 2 of 1.232 minus 5, and this gives positive 0 0.0158367. The result already turned positive, so we end the iteration. We already have three decimal places accuracy. So we must be really near the root, but still needing more. So create another interval. This time, 0 0.0001. And starting from x of 1.231, we add an increment to have the function as 4 times 1.2311 cubed minus twice of 1.2311 minus 5, and this provides 0 0.00125645. Both results are positive and negative, so the root is between these two x values. And just the same, we use the one nearer 0 as reference for the next increment. Now let's use an increment of 0 0.00001 and start from x equal to 1.231. So adding an increment, we get x of 1.23101. The function becomes 4 times 1.23101 cubed minus twice of 1.23101 minus 5, and this gives negative 0. 0.00020059. The next uses x of 1.23102, making the function 4 of 1.23102 cubed minus twice of 1.23102 minus 5, giving negative 0 0.00003874. Now let's try another using x of 1.23103. So the function becomes 4 of 1.23103 cubed minus 2 times 1.23103 minus 5. And the result, 
to positive 0 0.3001231. Now we reach the jump and still choose the x value nearest 0. From the values, x of 1.23102 provides 4 decimal zeros accuracy. So x is indeed this value, 1.23102.